rot and rust free and massively strong. Building your new fence around the lifetime steel post is the smartest choice for anyone interested in avoiding the digging out and resetting of old rotted wood posts every few years. Today, we'll show you exactly how easy lifetime steel posts and fencing are to install. First off, let's talk safety. Always call 811 before you dig. That way, you'll avoid any danger by knowing there aren't any buried electrical lines below. Like any DIY project, this one starts with a proper plan. Sketch out your fence line with post placement no more than 92 inches apart on center and evenly spaced. It's your call on aesthetics as the posts can be oriented with the unique flange top rail plates facing inside or out. Next, clear the future fence line of debris, limbs, or plants. Trust us, life gets a lot easier with a clean job site. Based off your sketched blueprint, Stake out the locations of the corner, line, and gate posts after properly measuring and marking. Some folks use spray paint to mark post holes, and some use stakes. That's your call. Then, pre-install the upper rail plate to the main post like this. As opposed to wood posts that require massive post holes, the lifetime steel post requires just a 10-inch diameter hole. A 24-inch depth is recommended but be sure to follow local code. For your post install sequence, think corner posts first, then gate posts, then line posts. That'll make the build process as smooth and efficient as possible. Starting with the first corner post, set the lifetime steel post in the corner hole, making sure there's roughly 72 inches above ground. You can check that by measuring from the ground to the post's top rail flange. Set the corner post in wet concrete, level, and that's it you're officially on your way. Move to the opposite corner and repeat the previous step. Once the concrete has set up some, run a string between the two corner posts. Make sure to snug the string down against the top rail flange. Use a line level to check that. If you don't happen to have a line level, you can also check for level using a 2x4. This will help you quickly determine the perfect level height of your line and gate posts. With corner posts set, now's the time to think about gate openings. If your gate will be four feet or less, use a single lifetime steel post. For wider gate openings, double up those gate posts back to back. Set your gate and line posts just like you did the corner post. Backfill with concrete, raising the posts to meet the guide string for proper even leveling of all fence posts. Pro tip, to help float a post in a hole that's slightly too deep, Jam a spike or bolt into the rail clip keyholes on the lower end of your post. That may offer some additional resistance in the wet concrete. Now it's time for the top rails, and when this fence project really starts taking shape. Your top rails can be done one of two ways. The most efficient method is to span one or two line posts with a longer, continuous top rail that sits atop the top rail flange. That'll save you time on the chop saw. Just measure from the outside edge of your corner post to the center of your determined line post. If your top rail ends at a gate post, remember to measure to the outside edge of that gate post. Otherwise, you'll create a small gap. If you don't have longer boards for the top rail, no worries. Just measure from the corner post's outside edge to the center of the next line post. Whichever option you choose, cut a wood or composite board to your chosen top rail measurement and attach that board through the pre-drilled holes in the lifetime steel post. Remember to use steel to wood screws set through the back of the post. Next, install the center and bottom rails with 30 inch spacing. We recommend optional rail clips for high wind locations for added strength. Just remember to install those rail clips before placing the rails. An added note on reinforcement strength. At a minimum, consider installing rail clips on the center rails. For maximum strength, slap some clips on both the center and lower rails. Once you've got all the rails in place, it's infill time. Install the fence pickets vertically, spacing them however you'd like. Just know, no matter how tight you space them, wood has a way of shrinking, so expect a small gap as the wood ages. Now it's time for the final move, the installation of the Adjustigate steel frame system. That starts with a hinge latch spacer kit made specifically to attach an Adjustigate to a lifetime steel post. 
This spacer kit provides two fillers for the hinge side and one filler for the latch side. Using the included self-tapping screws, install these fillers to the gate post at the correct height for the hinge and latch hardware. Follow the instructions included with the Adjustigate to complete assembly. Pro move. If desired, install cover pickets to conceal the posts, and you're done. Time to celebrate because you've just saved a ton of money building a fence and gate system designed to both look professional and to last a very, very long time. For questions or customer service, call Jewett Cameron at 800-955-2879 and our team will be happy to help.